Episode of Foodies and Spice, and today on the show, we'll start from China. And when you're back from China, I'm making something very beautiful yes, with Bon Vita. Something very beautiful with Bon Vita. So go call your friends, neighbors, papa, mama, everybody. Foodies and Spice is about to start. Hello, Foodaholic. So today we are in the ancient city of Xi'an. Yeah, Xi'an has over 2,000 years history and one of the things the tour guide has to show us is the Little Wild Goose Pagoda. She said little but this thing is high. <laughs> oh, it's huge. Yes, yeah, so but what is a pagoda? This Little Wild Goose Pagoda used to be a place for Buddhist monks uh, to come together and translate the Sutra. Now, from what I was reading on the board, I um, realized that the Buddhist religion, or yeah, the Buddhist religion actually immigrated from India so many, many years ago. So, this is one pagoda where the monks um, live or stay to translate their um, sutras, um, scripts, or Bud Buddhist scripts. That's one thing. Now, she was also telling me a story. Do you like Kung Fu? I love Kung Fu. Oh, yeah, so this is one place where men get trained in Kung Fu. Um, you have to imbibe the Kung Fu lifestyle, get to do very well with Kung Fu before they send you to the military, right? Great, so that's where we stopped. She still has a lot to tell me, so let's go. This pagoda we built in 707 AD. 707 yeah, AD. 707. So this place is really, really old. Oh. And these are like original architecture? Yeah. Yes, it's original, but uh, these things is quite old. We have a certain time to repair. Re yeah, like renovate yeah. them. Because this place is quite fam famous. Yeah. And uh, we need to make sure somebody we are com coming here for visitor is everything safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. certain time so to do to that. Yeah. This, is, this is this is like the gate. Mm -hmm. This one, this is a kind of the building in ancient China. Here we just put the some statue of the Buddha inside. So yes, okay. The, in Chinese we call that Buddha Hastava. Buddha, Buddha Hastava. Yeah, Buddha Hastava. So for the Buddha, the Chinese people, we are talking about six levels. Six, six levels. levels. Yeah. Okay. So the top level is Buddha. And the second level is Buddha Hastava. Okay. And the uh, number three is Aha. Aha. And the uh, number four is us, human beings. And mm -hmm. the number five is animals. And the last one, the number six level, so we call that evil. Evil, evil. ghost. Evil. This is really big. Yeah. And you call this the little wild goose? Because the ship, because we have uh, two pagoda, they all built at the same time. Yeah. So the one is more bigger. The bigger not means the size bigger, like uh, uh, some bricks, they are inlaid, the bricks is quite big. big yeah. yeah, but this one you can see is so tapped. Yeah. I mean, the one story, <laughs> one story. This is yeah. like how many story? This uh, originally have the 15. 15 yeah, story, 15. and this was built and in 700 AD, 707 yes, AD. Yes, 707 AD. Yeah. And right now, if you come in, this one have the 13. 13. Yeah. Why? Because Two hasn't broken. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because in Tang Dynasty, we just uh, have the three times big earthquake. Oh. The first time, the top just falling down. Yeah. And the second time, you can see the middle part there have the uh, window. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. area. Yeah. So this time, the pagoda just separate. Okay. So after the pagoda separate, we saw this pagoda were falling down. But the truth is, this one is quite tough. After third times, 
So this pagoda just back together by the earthquake. Okay, so the what pagoda. she's trying to say is that over time there yeah. have been earthquakes. Yeah. So and that was how the first two floors got lost. Yeah. Yeah. So and um, one of the times the middle, um, middle part, pa yeah. part of the pagoda actually opened. Yes. Yeah, just and, to separate. Yeah. And yeah. while everyone was scared that okay maybe this pagoda will be destroyed, yeah. another earthquake happened and and put together. the yeah, pagoda put together yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that made the locals think it's a magic pagoda. Yeah. <laughs> Power from yeah. the gods. Power okay. God. Yeah. Sorry. Can we take the left hand side? We're okay. only in the small yard. Okay. I will show you the best place. Have a beautiful view of the pagoda. Oh, okay. Right here. This is the best place. Oh, you can it's so nice beautiful. Place. And also nearby our two side, there have some oak tree. Like mm -hmm. for, I mean, this one on my left hand side, this one and uh, that one and the, the other side. So they all the old tree. This tree has 1,300 years old. So that means this tree is 1,300 years old. Yeah, same age with the pagoda. pagoda. Yeah. This tree is a Japonica. Japonica. What's that? Uh, it's kind of the Chinese tree. So I have just been shown a very ancient technology and um, it's really amazing. This is amazing. This is a bell. Should I call it um, a wish bell, a prayer bell, maybe. But um, this is like over a hundred years old and this is the original one over there. The original one is over 1,300 years old. Um, this bell, my tour guide was telling me the story that usually because some of the men have to go to the military, their mothers and their wives may not be able to see them for a while. And since there were no phones to send messages, um, they have to use the wishing bell. So they come here, make a wish and um, ring the bell with this wood or this log. Yeah, they ring the bell with the log and hope that their wishes come true. Now, the amazing thing for me is that there is a well underneath this bell. And when I, or when you use this log on this bell, over there, you're going to see some water come out like a little fountain. So it's really amazing. And it's, it's just, um, I, do, I do not understand the technology, but it's, it's beautiful for them to know how to do this at that time. You know, hit the bell and water from the well comes out from the little fountain there. It's really, really beautiful. So I'm going to be making my own wish inside. You're not going to hear it. And I'm going to be hitting the bell. How many times do I have to hit the bell? Six times. I think I'll do nine. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. Our wish is coming true. This is very lovely. Foodies and Spice Amazing China is powered by Beijing Wanxiang Travels. Welcome back. Xi'an was one of my high points in China. It was so beautiful. So now we are making muffins. Yes, we are using bone vita to make muffins and I'm also using bone vita to make mousse today. Now this is two desserts using bone vita. So I'm giving you two dessert recipes. Now what are desserts? Now all those things say so when I don't chop the appetizer, chop the main food. The dessert now the one they cross leg, they chop, they use the gist, yeah? Okay, Christmas they come. So you all need these dessert recipes. 
So what am I using? Of course the Bon Vita is here. I'll be using sugar, I'll be using milk, I'll be using flour, I'll be using oil, I'll be using baking powder, I'll be using vanilla. Now I'm going to make it the mousse first. And for my mousse, I'm using Bon Vita, I'm using milk and I'm using sugar. Um, not, not forgetting the gelatin to put it all together. First things first, before um, we came back from China, I already bloomed the gelatin. Yes, I just put um, like a spoon or two of gelatin in um, three to four spoons of water in this bowl and it is bloomed already <laughs> So this is just one cup of water I've added here and that is because I'll be adding one cup, approximately one cup of milk. So this is my one cup of milk. I'll bring to a boil. So I'll take this and stir. Okay, so I'll be adding about two to three spoons of um, sugar. You know Bon Vita is sweet already, so I'll just add small sugar. If you, even don't, if you want mousse that is not too sweet, you don't even have to add at all. This is about 30 ml cup. This should give me like two tablespoons, two tablespoons of sugar. So that is fine. I'll allow the milk come to a boil before I add the Bon Vita. So the milk is boiling already. And I'll add one cup of Bon Vita. Okay, so this is fine. I'll just pour this into a bowl. So from the bloom gel gelatin, I'll just take about one tablespoon and mix thoroughly. So the next thing I'll be doing now is pouring this smooth into a cup, then send it to freeze. <laughs> All right, so I'll be sending it to the fridge now to chill and it resets. And then you just have your simple mousse. No long thing. Yeah, all right. So while our Bon Vita mousse is resting in the fridge, that should take about an hour to set. We need to start making the muffin. Now muffins are quite easy to make. There are various variations in making muffins and you know, that's the same thing they call like um, cupcakes, yeah different recipes different um, variations but i want to show you a very easy one we do it a lot here not using butter using oil so i'll be using about um, a quarter cup of oil two eggs About half cup of sugar, a dash of vanilla, a pinch of salt. And I'll whisk.
Okay, so that's for my wet ingredients. I'll put it aside and I'll get the dry ingredients now. I'm going to be using approximately two cups of flour. I'm going to be adding some milk. That's about half cup of milk in there. So I'm just going to stir. And I'll have about two teaspoon of baking powder. Three teaspoon of baking soda. I added the salt in the egg mixture. Oh. Now I'll be needing some water because I used powdered milk. So I'll use about half cup. I won't be pouring everything yet. I'll just tear. So water that went in here is approximately one cup and that's because I have uh, milk in there. like powdered milk now even if you find lumps don't bother about the lumps just make sure you fold it in incorporates properly that's good now it's time for me to add some bon vita and let's give it half cup And I'm just folding in. Okay, so this is good. All right, guys, I just lined the baking tray with the baking paper. And now it's time to scoop my cake batter. Or muffin butter so I just take one of this I'm using an ice cream scoop if you don't have an ice cream scoop you can use your spoon anything at all you have to scoop Okay, so this is my muffin all ready to go into the oven. It's going to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes into the oven it goes. So after 20 to 25 minutes on medium high heat, this muffin is ready and it looks really pretty very very pretty and you see um you see a little bit of color variation on it and that's because i just folded in the bon vita i didn't mix 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 and it makes it look very very pretty our mousse is ready too so it's time for me to plate them all right pedaholics you all know by now that china was fun yes especially xian Xi'an was like the highlight. That was the last city we visited and it was beautiful. Like they saved the best for last. And you know, you can also get to see these things all by yourself, firsthand. All you need to do is call this number on your screen, go to the website, ask questions. You can ask me questions if you want to go, okay? I know there's supposed to be a tour this November, so I would implore you to join them for this tour. It's quite affordable. Chicken money and you can go for the tour, you can shop and you can see all these fun things. Now, today we are making mousse and muffins. Muffin is just like cupcake, but it's quite easy. It's just for you to toast. See, don't allow anybody to be bamboozling you when you read all those things and it look like the thing they very one kind, one kind they had. This thing is not they had. Just for you to just understand the concept. That's why most times it looks like I, I boil most of my cooking and it's looking like, okay, maybe I'm not using measurements and all of that. Um, if you just try them once or twice, you begin to understand, okay, this is what makes this this way. This is what makes this this way. 
from last week on youtube it was the jam video and people really loved that jam video now there are a lot of variations to this thing like when i was mixing the jam you can add one or two tablespoons of lemon you know to bring out a little bit of that tart and sweet thing like a balance if you want but when i was making it i actually told you it was simple strawberry jam whether you have lemon juice or not it works you can mix one or two more fruits together to make a jam you can do anything vary it but the most important thing is for you to know the basic then before you start changing it okay so i have um juliet odudu here say this is great strawberries are out of season here so i'll try this next season well done yeah bg i said thank you unkwa chiyoji say bless you gina i love homemade jams it's more healthier than those out in the shop thanks for taking us along much love much love to you too Unkwachi. thank you um venon said thank you so much ma i love the bread roll but i don't think i'll ever be good enough at the rolling but i love the strawberry jam and we definitely give it a try Please, did you allow the strawberry cool down before covering it? Yes, I allow the strawberry cool down. And even after covering it, I still send it into the fridge for it to cool. And most of you ask questions to find out how long it can stay for. And I say for about a month in the fridge. As long as that fridge is working, as long as it's well covered, you can keep using your jam. Yes, and I know some people keep jam for close to one year yes because it's sugar syrup as far as it's properly cooked down properly closed and is in the fridge you are good yes so but you don't have to keep it for that long just use you can make new batches whenever you need to make them so that said let's go back and serve this beautiful muffin and mousse bon vita mousse <laughs> All right, back from the fridge. It actually didn't take up to an hour and our mousse is set. Yeah. Um, you remember that jam from last week? Exactly. I'm going to be decorating with that jam as well. I'll just decorate it. So if you had gelatin, I'll still send it back to the fridge. It will freeze and stiff. Um, that's a very good dessert too that people make. An eventful dessert recipe day in the kitchen today this is very pretty it's looking like Christmas already imagine having this setting on your Christmas table on Christmas Day so let's just say we have cancelled one Christmas recipe for you more Christmas recipes coming very soon I'll start shooting them for you to see in December and now for us to taste our mousse so you see the mousse is set the bon vita, bon vita mousse is set very pretty Mm. wow okay let me be honest to you this is my first time of using bone vita to make mousse usually it's chocolate and i want to tell you that this bone vita mousse actually tastes better so rather than buying chocolates in the shops you know how expensive chocolates are in nigeria just get yourself a can of Bon Vita and here we go again and of course the strawberry the strawberry jam from last week lovely mm. that's why I didn't sweeten the Bon Vita mousse so much because I know I'll be putting the strawberry jam on it and I also say if you want the strawberry jam to set just do the same thing I did with the gelatin to the Bon Vita you do it to the you do it to the strawberry exactly and it will set but i didn't want one that we set because oh, let's say basically because of time yeah so till i come your way again next week i'm very sure that yeah, it's a chinese recipe next week yes till i come your way again please don't forget to stick to foodies and spice you can watch everything we've done here in case you miss it www.youtube.com slash Gina Ehikod. You go to YouTube now. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch, you will see everything. And on YouTube, you can ask me any question and I will answer you right on time. Love you all so much.
See you next week. Follow me on Instagram at Gina Foodies and Spice. Love you. You see these beautiful pictures there. Mwah.